This is episode 20 of my special series, The Entrepreneur Alphabet. I created this series so you can better understand what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur and therefore make sure you stop being the bottleneck in your business. I share practical A to Z insights across 26 short episodes. Yes, 26 like the number of letters in the alphabet. And today we cover the letter T for time. Before I tell you more about it, I'd love to hear from you. Why don't you take the time to send me your questions about entrepreneurship or topics you'd like me to cover in future episodes? The best way to reach out to me is either by email, contact at laurentnotin.com, or you can find me on LinkedIn. Let me start with defining time in a business context. Many of us would like to have more time on our plate, but unfortunately time is limited. One day is 24 hours, 1,440 minutes, 86,400 seconds. Plus, you don't know how much time in total you will get on planet Earth. The beauty of time, though, is that it's the same for everybody. We all have the same amount of time available to us to sleep, eat, relax, take care of your family, work, eat again, clean, exercise, eat more, go out with friends, etc. So imagine time as money in the bank. If you have $240 on your bank account, Can you actually spend more if you don't get a loan? No, you can't. Plus, it's not possible to get a time loan. However, it seems some people use their time better than others. That's because they literally use it better than you. You see, in a business context, time is a resource. And like any other resources available to you, such as people, equipment, money, etc., you need to manage it. The thing is, when it comes to time management, the biggest hurdle is you. Dare I say it, you are your own bottleneck. So the real question is, how can you better manage all the time that is available to you? To help you, I'd like to share my top three time management rules. Rule number one, be aware of the time that is available to you. We often underestimate the time we have on our plate. Often your time management issues come from your lack of planning because you don't understand how long it takes you to do the things you want to do. Let me give you a simple example. If you leave home at 8.30 a.m. and it takes you 30 minutes to commute to work, don't schedule your first in-person meeting at 8.45 a.m. Be aware that it takes you 30 minutes to go to your office, add a buffer, just in case, and schedule your first meeting around 9.10 or 9.15 a.m. Again, you must understand how long it takes you to do things so you can plan better. Here's an exercise for you. In the next two weeks, I want you to use a journal to record all your activities. I mean all of it, including doodling around with your mobile phone, sleeping, eating, exercising, etc. And record the time it takes to complete those activities. I'm sure you will be surprised by the results you might find that you are not spending enough time doing the important stuff you're supposed to be doing. Rule number two, moving from I don't have time to I don't make the time for it. When was the last time you said, oh, I don't have time? Five minutes ago? Come on, be honest with yourself. If I was telling you, hey, here is some money for you to pay for your next vacation. It's all free, all expenses covered, but 
you must plan them right now i'm pretty sure that you'll do it imagine if you were spending 30 minutes less checking social media on your mobile phone or reading those emails where you are in cc or bcc or not attending those not relevant meetings would you agree with me that you would have creating time for yourself to do something else that's what it means to manage time you need to select your activities every time you choose to do something it means that you choose not to do something else and don't tell me you can multitask because multitasking is a myth remember we all have exactly the same time available to us so not having time is not a valid excuse time is a resource so instead of letting your time go grab it that's why you should start saying i make or do not make time because when you think about it you are making time to be on your smartphone reading your emails, checking your social media accounts, having another coffee or being in that useless meeting. It's a question of priorities. So if you want time, create it. Go back to your journal and revisit your priorities. Let go of unnecessary tasks so you can make time for the most important ones. Rule number three, always be in control of your time. I bet your number one time management issue is being overwhelmed when you cope with too many things at once. When it happens to me, I have the impression that I cannot do anything, that I am out of control. Is it the same with you? Well, consider this. Have you had the experience of working with a client who is detecting all his requests to you and you feel you must say yes to everything, losing control of the project schedule? It usually creates frustrations on both sides and ends up in chaos. A pilot would not let you take control of a plane. It's the same with your time. You are the pilot of it, so don't let others control it for you. Again, time is a resource that you need to manage. If you follow those three time management rules, I guarantee you will see immediate improvement. Now, if you want to get to the next level, you need to start using proper time management tools. There are hundreds out there. They do work. They are easy to use. But all you need to do is find those tools that are the most suitable to you and keep on using them until they become part of your routine. Otherwise, nothing will change. Here is a handful of time management tools. First, a time management journal. I've already mentioned it. You can also Google something called the bullet journal. One of my clients started using it and it absolutely changed her life overnight. Second, a calendar. I could not live without my Google calendar. I schedule everything on it from my professional and personal meetings to my to-do lists and reminders. It's the most basic time management tool, yet the most efficient for me. Third, the Pomodoro technique. It's designed to help you resist all of those self-interruptions and retrain your brains to focus. Use a timer that you set between 20 and 25 minutes, which you will dedicate to one task only. You can repeat the timer for each task you want to tackle. Each time interval is a chance for you to reset and bring your attention back to what you should be working on. Fourth, the daily three item to do list. You know, one of the reasons you feel you're not good at managing your time is because you don't get things done. And one of the reasons you don't get things done is because your to do lists are way too long. They are not to do list, they become to fail list. So instead, break those tasks by order of priority and limit them to three per day. Yes, three per day only. Three is a good number. 
Try it. You'll see. I've been using this technique for years now with success. And fifth, the two-minute rule. That rule is very simple. Every time you have a task that will take less than two minutes to do, do it right now so it gets out of your way. There's nothing worse than having all those tasks accumulating in the back of your brain. They can quickly become a moral burden. And that's a wrap for today's episode. Thank you for listening. If you're having time management issues and you're not sure which tool is the most suitable for you, I suggest you book a free call with me right now so I can help you. No commitment. You'll find the link to my online calendar in the show notes. In the meantime, stop being the bottleneck in your business. See you next time. Bye for now.